Oh, hello there. Welcome to video number one on bringing it all together. We are going to create a character in Illustrator with different layers for all the different parts. And then you're going to bring it in After Effects and hopefully animate your character with all the different parts. In the world of YouTube out there, there's a, there's a man who created a tutorial, uh, a very helpful tutorial that I use to teach my, you know, to learn from, um, you know, because I'm also learning After Effects with you guys. So, um, however, uh, he uses the F word quite a few times, and I can't use it now. I can't use his video. I wish I could. I have to reinvent the wheel again. So uh, I'm bummed about that. But yeah, I mean, you could try to find the video if you want, but I got to warn you, he dropped some F bombs. So I can't use it for educational purposes. So anyway, we're going to do our own. Um, so when we create a character, you want all new layers, okay? All the whole bunch of different layers. So you can see I have his left arm, left leg, belly, left antenna, because you never know what you want to animate in After Effects. And if you want to animate this character doing something, you got to have make sure all these parts are separate, okay? So this is very similar to what he did on his tutorial. I just kind of borrowed it. The idea, you know, teachers are limited on time. Uh, so here's my new character I'm working on. Um, notice a, a few more different parts. I kind of, I'm kind of imagining him walking and talking at the same time. So that's kind of why I have all these different parts, um, you know, uh, separate. Okay. So think about all the different joints that you're going to need, all the different moving parts. You know, think about anatomy. Think about yourself as you're walking down a hallway. Uh, we have pivot points. We have knees. We have elbows. Um, how are you going to get that to work? You got to have all those different parts working, all right? So, and we've learned a bunch of things so far. We've learned that we can use the Pathfinder, we can use the uh, pencil and the gradients, and all of these, the pen tool, to create a character of our choice based on your sketches that you're going to do before you start this activity. So, um, when you're ready to start, go to File, New. We're going to select New Document Profile as Video and Film. Normally, we work in Print. Uh, mode, but that's just for posters and, and paper printing out and that kind of thing. So we're going to go to video and film for animation and After Effects. NTSC, DV, widescreen is fine. You get some other settings in here. Uh, for our purposes, we'll just stay with that. Click OK. All right, we have one layer going. I'm going to try to speed this up, go as fast as I can so you guys can get going. We want to create a whole bunch of different new layers. Look at this. We can just click on that as many times. And we want to label them all. So this one's going to be body. This one is going to be, I don't know, let's say left leg. This one's going to be right leg and so forth. Okay. This one's going to be head. Why not? If you want a head that pivots on the neck, why not do that? Uh, left arm. Left, oop, right arm. Maybe we're going to have a tail. You guys get it. Okay, so let's go to a body. We'll create a body real quick with our shapes. Circle, and maybe we're going to have a little pelvic region down here. I don't know. Um, hold down the shift key to select both of them at once. Now you're going to want to find your align options. Your align is here, but align is, is already open. So I'm going to click here and click on horizontal align center. And that's what it's going to do is align it on that vertical line there. All right, so. Uh, here we have it. We're going to select both of them again. We're going to use our Pathfinder tools and we're going to merge them together or unite. Okay. Now we can change the color of this if we want. Maybe we want to have a green body on this guy um, or grail, whatever you want. Uh, we can play with the stroke. Maybe it's going to be a thicker stroke on there. You can play with a different kind of uh, stroke options. Maybe you want more of a cartoony, uh, illustrative look. That's okay too. Maybe this character is going to have a spot on his belly. And this is going to be a little lighter. Something like that. Why not? Okay, increase the stroke. Maybe this one's going to have a stroke of two with a, you know, same type of thing, same type of stroke um, profile. Looking fine. We could create some eyes. Ooh, we need some eye layers, right? Ooh. And maybe I want these eyes to move simultaneously or move by themselves. So this one's going to be right eye. OK, left eye like that. I don't know, you can get creative with the, how you want the eyes to look. I don't know. Um, if, you, if you put eyes like this, he's going to look surprised, right? If you make eyes like this, he's going to look more suspicious. 
He's a very crafty little monster. Oops, undo that. If you want to copy, you can copy this, Command C, and go to our right eye, Command V, or all that is under Edit, Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. Okay, and then move it in place like so. It looks kind of like a mouth. If you don't like that, you can go back down here, and you know maybe it's going to be the belly of his little thing down here. Eh, maybe that looks better. I don't know. You guys choose. It's your character, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, with arms, I mean, you could put a slap a tail in here. Use a pen tool. Uh, make sure you go in here like so because you want to give it enough space to be able to move around if you're going to animate it. Click on your eyedropper tool. We can match the color just by clicking on this shape and it automatically match what's over here in your color pickers. Okay. But now look at the tail is above the body. We, could, we don't want that. We want to move the tail below the body. Okay, like so. Maybe I don't like, I think the stroke is a little bit too thick or it's not quite uniform. So I'm going to click on here and make it uniform with the other one. That looks better. Um, so it's growing. You guys can see how this is happening, right? If you want an arm, maybe you just want to use the pen tool uh, or the paintbrush, right? And just create a funky little arm that way, right? But let's uh, change the weight first and then go to our arm. Maybe that can be an arm and that can be a new arm. Oh, but I drew, look at I drew the right arm on the left arm. That's no good. So I got to cut that from there and I got to put it, click on the right, uh, layer, right arm layer and then paste it in. But look at, we want this arm to look, it's behind it, right? So I'm going to click on that and drag it underneath the body like that. Okay, so now it's, it's working. Okay, so you get the idea. What can you do with the leg, right leg? Here, is this the right leg? Yeah, sure, why not? Left leg. He's running. Okay, let's uh, get the right leg pushed back behind the body, like so. Huh? All right, guys, I've taken enough of your time. Create a character. You know, you could also do it like we did Homer, where you're tracing out your drawing and just creating different parts just by tracing out your drawing. That's, uh, that's what you can do, too. There's a lot of options in Illustrator. All right, so good luck. Uh, remember your layers. Uh, stay tuned for how we animate the mouth.